So y'all the defending champions. Yes. The Derrick Rose Chicago Bulls got eliminated by the Boston Celtics in the second round. Um I was surprised to hear the news before our game. Um I really was. Uh J.R. Smith went crazy. He hit all the go-ahead shots to really just end their season. And I was really expecting this series to go to seven games. Um, but it went to six. Boston just took care of business. Uh, KG had 28 points. Um, and New All Dang outperformed Derrick Rose. He had 38 points. And they just outplayed them, 103-96. to And it was, they got eliminated. But now it was time for our series. Game 5, Eastern Conference Semifinals. The Wizards find themselves on a postseason deadlock at two games apiece. It is a critical turning point, and they know the time is now as they face a pivotal Game 5 against the Heat. Round 2 of the NBA playoffs continue, coming right up. All right, so coming into this game, y'all, I was pretty happy. Um, I was pretty happy that, well, for one, we didn't have to face those Derrick Rose Bulls. Um, they gave us a run for our money in the regular season. Um, but then I had to focus up on the game that we was having against Miami, and it was not a pretty one. Um, we're trying to make this a good series, but we just can't. This whole, I'm just going to be honest with you, this whole first half, we just got outplayed. 67 to 55 at the end of the first half. Um, I came to play, but none of my teammates did. I had 30 points. Um, LeBron had 19. Brandon Jennings had 12. Um, and, you know, this game was just disappointing. I was pissed off. We Basically, we, just to keep it short and sweet and simple with y'all, we had lost in our home fans. Yep, in our home arena, in front of our home fans in Washington. LeBron James and them came to play. Um, I had a stellar performance, but it wasn't enough in that fourth quarter because I just kept getting triple creamed and trapped. Um, my teammates, not to throw them under the bus or anything like that, but they really did. They started to turn it on late in the game. Um, and when I say late in the game, I mean like we was already done. Um, you know, LeBron and them in that fourth quarter... Our best quarter was the third quarter. Um, I'll say that. As a team, our best quarter was the third quarter. But LeBron and them came to play in the dog on the fourth quarter. Not even a lot of y'all. Um, and I was pissed. Um, I was pissed because he was just... LeBron could not miss. Um, legit could not miss. And I know everyone's looking at me like, okay, it's LeBron James. You're literally playing the LeBron era. Would you expect LeBron to be trash in his own game mode that's named after him? No. I'm not saying that, but it's really like, bro, this man could not miss anything. He was making, like, he was splashing post hooks. Then he had Brandon James making every three, like, he's been making every three all doggone series long. As y'all know, been keeping up with the series. That man Brandon James been hitting threes dead in my face. Even when I have fouled him, he's gotten four point plays on me and everything. Um and just like I said at the beginning of this season, um after summer league, um he wasn't really worried about my summer league championship on him. Um the playoffs is where it really mattered because he had a very, very contending team and he's on a contending team. And they ended up winning this game. D Wade went crazy as well. Um, and it was, I was just, oh my God, I was so pissed off. Um, and it got to the point where literally coach was just like, you know, all right, Dave, it's time to, time, he subbed me out the game. Um, it got that bad close to like the last three minutes of the fourth quarter. Um, uh, you know, we was just done. Um, we lost 127 to 112. They just totally outplayed us. I had a 49 point triple double. But it was nothing. And LeBron had 37. Brandon James had 25. And D Wade had 18. And now it was time for game six in Miami. Um, and I was happy to play. 
um, we have one more game to keep our whole season alive. And I knew I had to come to play. This is the game. Uh, if we lose this game, we go home, y'all. Uh, we really, really do. So I'm just going to tell y'all what happened in the first half. I'm just going to show y'all. So first half, we was up 83-74 to at the end of the first half. I had 24 points and 10 rebounds and 8 assists. Nick Young gave me a good 14 points. LeBron had 23. D-Wade had 15. So I was feeling pretty good coming out of the you know halftime break. But then the third quarter came... At the end of the third quarter, Brandon James had gotten a dunk. They had gotten a little run the third quarter. Kind of came back in the game. And your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. You know, he was a non-factor. Here is Jennings. Hot pass to Bosch. Gets the bucket and the foul. Lewis. And so he's picked up his final foul. And yes, y'all. Your boy and Avery Black fouled out of the game. And this is when LeBron showed me why this game most caught the LeBron era. Now, y'all, don't get it twisted. Um, my team was motivated after I fell out of the game. Um, I was disappointed in myself as I was sitting on the bench. Um, but I'm sitting here watching on the bench, and it doesn't really even matter. Um, LeBron was really going off. Uh, we was playing great, though. Um, my teammates was keeping it. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. They was keeping it together in the fourth quarter, um, but they just the Miami Heat just kept coming back. LeBron was finding D Wade open for threes, and D Wade was hitting them surprisingly, which was pissing me off. Out of all the three point shooters on their team, I'd rather have D Wade take a three than Ray Allen or Brandon Jennings. That's their best three point shooter. But you know when I found out, Dylan Reyes came in the game and he was pissing me off because he was throwing all these stupid passes. And it led to LeBron James' best dunk of the game. And of course, all me and Kirk Conrad could do was just watch that whole play just transpire. As Gilbert Arenas threw a terrible pass, and then John Wall was just left there by himself. And then LeBron just went on a dunking rampage for a little while. He dunked on JaVale McGee, made him fall over. Um, the Jumbotron kept showing that dunk. It was pissing me off, to be honest. Um, but... John Wall hit three. Next play down to redeem himself from getting dunked on. Um, LeBron hit a shot. It was clutch. Um, and then we had to tie the game up because we was down by two. And John Wall hit a layup with the perfect cut. And next play, we knew it was three seconds left on the clock. But we was proud that, that John Wall hit that shot to tie the game up. And LeBron went up for the game winner. And well missed, and now we are ready for. So we are headed to overtime. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Yes, we went to overtime in Game Six. Mind you, I'm still fouled out the game, and well, <sighs> we had a um. Miserable start to the overtime. We missed our first five shots. We got a good block by John Wall blocking Brandon James right there in the corner. It was great to see. Great hustle. Um, Gilbert Arias hit a shot late with like a minute left to go. Uh, he had two back-to-back -back layups. We got a steal. And we was down by two. Um, and then, yeah. Give it a rinse to a turnover. LeBron James gets the ball, steals it, dunks it, and now we need a three to tie, like to tie the game. We need a three. So I'm seeing the play right here, and I'm like, okay, there's a three right there. He gets the screen. 
We had enough good ball uh, movement and everything. John Wall for three. Missed it. And then LeBron James got fouled at the line. And that's when we knew it was over. You can just see it on our faces that we knew the game was over, y'all. Look at John Wall right here. He missed a big shot in the corner, and it really affected him. And even as we returned to the bench, and I was just disappointed that the season was really over. Coach was just congratulating us for having a good season, congratulating me for winning Rookie of the Year. And we had to just sit there and watch the final 19 seconds go down, and we watched Miami celebrate right on their home floor in front of their home fans. They beat us in six games, six hard-fought games. They only beat us by six points. They just played better than us in the overtime. So I was. It hurt my heart, but I know we're going to be back next year. I know for sure. Although it was disappointing for us to lose in the fashion that we lost in and for me to foul out, I was more motivated than ever to get back to work for the next season. Really am, y'all. Can't wait till the 2013 season. Me and my squad are going to be back for vengeance.